This convention will come to order. We hereby nominate the greatest president that's ever lived, and that's Donald J. Trump. He's done it before, and he'll do it again. He is fearless and is exactly what this country needs right now. When we play golf together, if I'm not on his team, he'll try to get inside of my head. But I have to remind him, I'm a Trump too. It's common sense versus chaos. It's strength versus weakness. Biden may have forgotten that our children died, but we have not forgotten. Donald Trump knew all of our children's names. We have another son serving in the army, and we do not trust Joe Biden with his life. Because we have a country to save. America cannot afford four more years of a weekend at Bernie's presidency. All Americans deserve a shot at the American dream. I never felt more free and more love for my country than I do now. I went to prison so you won't have to. Guess what? They did not break me. Fear has been infectious in this country, but courage can be contagious too. That too is what it means to be an American. And President Trump, back in Commander-in-Chief, I would go back to re-enlist today. If you didn't believe in miracles before Saturday, you better be believing right now. He looked out at the crowd, and what did he say? Could I have believed that I'd be standing here tonight. Now, I was lucky. Despite the closing factories and the growing addiction in, in towns like mine, in my life, I had a guardian angel by my side. She was an old woman who could barely walk, but she was tough as nails. I called her Mamaw, the name we hillbillies gave to our grandmothers. She once told me when she found out that I was spending too much time with a local kid who was known for dealing drugs, that if I ever hung out with that kid again, she would run him over with her car.